Hi everyone, I'm Nadia. I'm a full-time artist living in England. I also teach children art and creative ideas. Recently, I started giving free online lessons to help families like mine cope with self-isolation. All the lessons are recorded live and uploaded to this channel. There is a link in the description, so please feel free to join my art group. Hope to see you there! So, for new artists, uh, I'd like to begin with a little introduction. My name is Nadia, and uh, I'm a mom of two little children. Uh, Sophia normally helps me, she's three, and she will turn four very soon. Hope she will join us a bit later. And uh, a little boy Bjorn, he's eight months, and uh, I hope his dad will manage him. What are we doing today? We are drawing this uh, underwater world full of fish and uh, you can go as creative as you, as you want and uh, I did this jellyfish but you can come up with uh, any other underwater animals uh, you know so let's uh, take a piece of paper and uh, paint so we have the background, which is very, very deep blue. Use all, uh, every shade of blue color you have. And uh, we begin with the um, uh, gradient blue color of the background using, uh, uh, we'll paint using the sponges as we did at the session at, uh, in the last week. Uh, I did this uh, handle for Sophia, hopefully she will join me. And uh, you can use um, kitchen sponge without uh, without a handle, but it's probably just more tidy, uh, tidier to use it with a handle, with a bag like this. So I put my paint directly on the paper. I'll take two shades of blue. If you have more blue shades of blue, please use them all. And uh, for this, I need uh, for the background. I'll take black as well. Uh, use brush, use sticks. Uh, if you have uh, tubes of paint like me, I just uh, squeeze a little bit of paint directly on the paper. Like streams of color one by one. But uh, use brush, use uh, the any stick or brush to take your paint off your tubes because I think most of you have paint in the tubes. Okay, now a bit of black. And uh, a bit of blue again. And then with the sponge, we'll mix it, mix it all together straight on the paper. Like this. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And uh, you can change the color as you go. So if you want it to be more blue, add, put some more blue paint. If you want it to be darker, uh, put some more black color. Continue tapping with the sponge until it's all covered with nice blue color with of different shades of blue so we creating this uh, ocean or sea or it can be any other water world really even a river there is no jellyfish in the river there so probably let's say we are making the sea deep dark sea i'm nearly done here's the blue color of my sea nice and deep color so now we are getting to something really really exciting we are going to make these seaweeds you see i have this greenery here and it's not just any grass we have underwater grass which is called seaweed and uh, we're going to create them paint it not with a brush not with a pencil uh, not with a marker, but with this thread. 
Do you have your threads ready? So I take a piece of thread about this, this length, mm, about this length, and uh, I cut a piece of it like this. Ding, cut, ta da! So, and now I take a little container, or you can use uh, even a piece of paper just to, to put some paint on, on, on some surface. Uh, it should be, if you use container, it should be shallow because we will be dipping the uh, thread into the color. And I take a light green, very, very light green, a very bright color, very intensive. Uh, if you don't have green, you probably know if you mix yellow and blue, it will make green color. But I have already green color ready, so I just use it to save some time. I put it in the container like this. Um, don't need much about this quantity and uh, without any water because I don't want to color be very runny. I need it to be nice and thick. I put thread uh, in the container and uh, I'll make sure Everything is covered with this green color. So I help myself with the brush. I mix it, mix it, mix it, and uh, I dip it in the in the color. So what I do next? Uh, I'll this painting we did uh, in the portrait orientation. So this one I want to change. I want to. Uh, make my painting uh, in the landscape like this, like so. So I take the uh, thread and uh, I place it on top of my uh, paper anywhere you want and I twist it a bit so it goes like this and then with no, without lifting it I just fold it, I, I fold my paper like this and uh, I pull holding a bit on top of the paper I pull the thread in and uh, I open to see what happened to it oh wow look what a beautiful seaweed I've created isn't it amazing I'm really pleased with the result. It's so bright and uh, such an interesting shape. I actually want to change my color slightly. So I put a bit of yellow in the green color that I have in the container and uh, I mix it a bit. And I dip my thread in the in the new green color again and uh, again I make sure it's covered with the green paint all over and carefully I take it out and uh, I do the same but in a different place maybe somewhere in the middle and I twist it twist it twist it twist it and uh, I fold it again, but I fold it now slightly differently. Uh, you see, it's not half folded. It's uh, like uh, on the side and I pull it again and I open to see what happened. Wow. <laughs> I think it's really beautiful. And uh, you can add any a bit of different color, um, but uh, I wanted to keep inside the green shades, but maybe even maybe even more yellow, uh, and maybe a bit of white as well. So my seaweed not same, but a bit different, and I did last time. mix it again and I actually 
don't mix the color uh, before I put my thread in. I mix them all together. So it's not very... Uh, uh, the seaweed should have different shades of, hopefully, white, uh, light green, more yellow green. Uh, so I place the thread again and I fold it again. Experiment with the folding and I pull it again. And because it's uh, comes very, every time differently on the paper, the shape of the seaweed is always different. I think they're beautiful, they're very abstract. So now let's get on to painting these funny creatures. Uh, so I'm trying to create fish and uh, this uh, guy who resembles jellyfish, hopefully. <laughs> so what do we do? We just uh, take these uh, cotton uh, discs and uh, scissors and uh, I'll cut fish, uh, I'll cut the mouth. This fish is quite serious on this painting, so I wanted to make a bit more smiley, maybe. So I cut mouse in the shape of a smile. So I have a smiley fish. It doesn't look like a fish yet, but if I take this piece that I just cut out and uh, stick it to the opposite side of the, of the um, disc, does it look like a fish tail? Yeah, it does. Also, uh, we, in a minute we're going to <clears throat> glue them, glue the uh, glue the fish to the um, to the ocean we just created. But um, I've noticed that my uh, my cotton uh, disc has a texture on one side. It doesn't have texture on a different side, on the opposite side. So if you if your cotton a disc has texture uh, make sure try to put texture on top so don't glue to the texture but keep the texture on top of uh, of the painting so we'll glue to the opposite side now take some PVA it should hold it very well uh, just ordinary PVA glue and the stick and uh, put some glue anywhere you want your fish to be in the in the painting and the tail as well like this and uh, use your palette or use your container whatever you have and um, I like my fish to be orange or maybe a bit, not as orange, maybe a bit, a bit of yellow. But fish, as you know, they can, can be of any different color. They can be green, uh, blue, red. Uh, so choose any color you like. Actually, I'll take yellow and uh, place a little bit, little dot of paint straight on the on this fellow and uh, maybe a bit of green as well why not one fish can have different colors mix them a bit here straight on the cotton disc but every fish needs to have an eye maybe even two So to paint, to paint eyes or one eye, I take the uh, cotton bud and uh, a bit of black paint, black paint, put a tiny bit of black paint on the palette, uh, stick the cotton bud in the black paint and paint the eye. Ding! Done. I have a smiley fish that can see everyone now because it has the eye. But you know, fish has two eyes. 
and uh, I probably make two eyes. Now it definitely can see you. And uh, I'll jump straight into making this uh, little fellow, which is a jellyfish. So I, I cut my cotton disc in half. You know, the jellyfish looks like an umbrella a bit. So this would be my jellyfish. And uh, again, I take some PVA glue and put it anywhere where you want to be your jellyfish in the painting. You know, every jellyfish has legs. So uh, again, I take the same string I was using for painting seaweed and uh, I cut jellyfish legs. One, two, three. I'll take three. I'm gluing them here where the jellyfish is going to be. Here, his legs. And another leg goes here. And then I put his body on top of it. Ta-da! Jellyfish is ready, but you know jellyfish they kind most very commonly they're transparent, they see through, you can see through them. So you can keep them white or you can paint them. I'll take a bit of blue maybe. Put a bit of blue color on top of it. Do this. Stretch the color, stretch the color. And I paint some couple of eyes for uh, onto my jellyfish. Let's make one eye here and another eye here. It can definitely see you too. So you can put um, as many fish as you want, different shapes, different, you can even make uh, like octopus or uh, seahorse or any shells here uh, to create this um, background and uh, put some stones maybe even. This is my uh, little helper who decided not to help me today, unfortunately, although I finally put on this uh, 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 apron on you and you decided to skip the session. Look what we've done today. Are we going to continue after this uh, lesson ends? Yes, will you help me to, to finish it? Yes? Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye everyone, have a lovely day. Love you all. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. You may also join our live lessons, which we have on Mondays and Tuesdays. The link is in the description. Please also come to visit my website, where I exhibit my paintings. ipainting.pro Love to everyone! Stay home, stay safe, keep on creating!